My new textbook series, uh, we've been class testing it and other materials for quite a while, and they like it. And they'll tell me that they really like the word problems, that the students find them interesting, that they don't hear people saying, when am I ever going to use this, like they did before when they were using other textbooks. I, I like it when they say um, it's really helpful to have all the steps and the examples because that means that I've made something that my students who are commuters, who can't get into office hours, who can't get to the math lab, have a resource. And frankly, many of my students have to work. They just, I mean, it's nice if they can come in to see me, but they just can't. They've got complicated lives. One of the themes of our series is empowering students for success. Some of that is involved in the mathematics. We need to have detailed examples. We need to lay out the material in a real logical, sequential way, in a way that's logical to them, not just to mathematicians. But more than that, we need to help them become um, accustomed to the, custom, uh, to the culture of college and to the expectations we have for them. Because they come out of high school and they don't know how to be successful. And part of the, the chapter openers in the book and some of the exercises really speak to that and help students in their quest to be college students, not high school students. In writing these books, ideas about persistence have been central as I wrote the chapter openers and I wrote exercises to support those openers. We want students to learn about the color, culture of college. We want to give students new ideas for studying and how to use support resources at the college. And we want opportunities to in interact with students about these things. We've been using our textbooks and the materials that we wrote before they actually became textbooks for some time now. And what we know from doing research in downstream classes that follow developmental math is that students that enter those classes from our developmental math sequence are as or more successful as students that place into those classes, which we find very encouraging. It means that our students that are entering with deficits are entering college level courses prepared for success.